Well now, we're about to try to find a porker here. It's over here, uh, one of my favorite places to hunt. And I've drug around most of the day and should have been out here after him. I got the old Bear 59 er recurve here. And we're supposed to go in here and try to find one. The river's flooded. I hope it's got them pushed up. Well, I know it's got, it, got them pushed up on some of this, this upland here. But we'll uh, see what we can do. Come go with us. Alrighty, the swamp is flooded. I had a, I showed you that little bit of footage there. But what we got to do is get up in this kind of stuff right here. And be pretty quiet and slip around. And it's loud for us walking, but it's also loud for the pigs out there rooting around. If you, you pay attention, you can hear them. My directional hearing is terrible. So usually I'll, I'll hear some and have to make about three loops before I figure out where they're exactly at. But uh, we're about to get after them right here. It's a, it's a beautiful day. The wind is blowing every direction. In about five seconds, it makes a whirlpool right there. Mighty pretty, mighty pretty place. That's the higher ground I was telling you about right there. It's pretty thick, that's what you need. You see it, the elevation rate going up, it probably don't go up four or five feet. But that's enough to keep the, you know, the, the water running around it. Beautiful day. Thank you, Lord. Let's get after him. Alrighty. Well, the good Lord has truly blessed me this evening, or today, it's the middle of the day, about one o'clock. I was over here hunting uh, on a public, it's public land. I was walking, doing a little scouting. Next week is the last week of deer season. And shoot, I'm trying to, looking for a place maybe to shoot a deer, but really just out enjoying a good walk. It's too hot to be uh, January the 3rd. I think it's January the 3rd. And uh, it's, it's hot, it's probably 78, 80 degrees. I'm sweated down now. But anyway, I made a big loop around, was in hog sign the whole way. The river's flooded and it's got all the hogs pushed up on the hill. And shoot, I walked around and I spotted a little red pig. He's big enough, he's too fast to catch, so he was big enough to shoot. And I was trying to make plans about what to do. I knew he didn't belong by himself. So I was looking, looking for his, his partners. And uh, directly he he come around and I looked to my right and then there were two big hogs like this one. And they were going around just kind of rooting. I mean, right over there. And uh, I was getting me a plan together. The wind is swirling like mad. I can't believe I got that close to them. They didn't smell me. But anyway, I ease on, take a few steps and I spot this one laying right here, laying in this hole right here, bedding. And so I, I said, shoot, if I'm ever going to kill one on camera, this will be the best chance. So I stopped my camera in the ground there, and I, I ain't looked at the footage. I hope it turns out good. But uh, And then I went a few steps to where I thought the hog was laying sideways. 
but it was actually laying towards me a little bit and I hit it right there and spined it. It jumped up and couldn't go nowhere. I grabbed another arrow and shot it. And uh, I think I even shot at it again. <laughs> I, might, I think I did shoot it three times. But uh, anyway, we, uh, I got it. It's a fine, big old fat hog. I'm surprised they this fat because we didn't really have a whole lot of acorns this year. We had some, but this is a big fat pig here. I bet it weighs 150 pounds. And uh, it's, during the summer, it'd probably weigh 100 or less. But uh, I'm proud to get her. I got a, the last deer I killed, I didn't process, hoping I'd get another one and do two at one time. But this, I'll mix them with this, and this will be some good sausage right here. Shooting my old, uh, the first pig I've killed with my Bear 59 Kodiak. And uh, I love that bow, it's a fine bow. I have a Super Kodiak I climbed yesterday with, I didn't see no deer. And, uh, but it's just, this is a fine bow. I really don't know what to say, I'm, I'm so thankful. In 2019, this is 2020, 2020, the year of Trump, Hey, I hope I did offend somebody with that. But this is, uh, in 2019, I didn't kill a hog. That's the first time since I've killed my first pig 30 some odd years ago that I didn't kill one. And uh, I didn't hunt that much. It was hot during the summer, a lot going on. I had some opportunities and I just I just didn't kill one. I killed uh, 10, I killed 10 deer. But uh, 2020, I got one. <laughs> Thank you, good Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, I got some work to do. I boned this, this pig out, put her in the meat sack, and I'm probably probably a mile, a mile from the truck. I feel kind of naked because I ain't got my compass. And uh, I shot the pig. The other pigs scattered that way. I was going to take a bearing on where they was at because I was, I was going to go find one of them too and get a double, but I'm thinking thinking this is plenty of work right here. This will be, be good enough. I got to go to work tomorrow too. Alrighty. Happy New Year to y'all. Hope y'all's 2020 turns out as good as mine has started right here. It's a blessing. I got family's healthy. Got a good job. Fine boat. And uh, thank the good Lord. Life is good. Thank you Lord for this pig. For this day. Amen.